Hello guys, Calmer here once again, and uh, today I'm bringing you a, another update. Um, tonight, in order to uh, kind of uh, put something out there, I'll probably release a Capco for a little bit of game uh, play video. Uh, but unfortunately, 1.8 has been pushed back again, and I'm kind of okay with that because uh, it has been announced that there is going to be a pre-release update. So if you're playing the pre-release for 1.8, they're going to update that with some bug fixes, and um, but it's not going to be the official 1.8 release yet. So um, they're kind of pushing that off. And I guess this is, it's kind of the same thing. They technically released 1.8 on Friday, and you guys have been playing it. And then the pre-release update is going to be like a 1.8 underscore 1, and then the official release is going to be like the 1.8 underscore 2, you know, so it's kind of the same thing, but just done differently, I guess. So it's still okay because as long as they're fishing, fixing bugs, I'm okay with it. Um, speaking of which, uh, Jeb has actually announced on Twitter that he is updating quite a few things. He's working on them. Uh, the things he's working on, he has posted in paste, uh, pastebin.com, which I'll link that in the description. Uh, the things he's working on, these include SSP chunk memory leaks. Uh, mine shaft density, he's reduced those to half. He's increased the stronghold count per map to three instead of just one. Uh, he's working on the furnaces crashing at nighttime whenever they switch from lit to unlit or unlit to lit. Uh, crafting bench ghost items, he's fixing that. Uh, vines and leaves crashing in the nether. Um, using animations in SMP, such as blocking and eating, he's fixing that so it actually works, and he's actually fixing the blocking in SMP so the, it actually blocks. Um, sprinting can only be done by press, double pressing forward instead of using right click or sneaking. Uh, adding some blocks to the creative mode, such as water and lava, which were not there for some strange reason. Um, he is fixing items dropping that you can now pick them up correctly instead of them just sitting there with no owner. Uh, nothing can be eaten in creative mode anymore. Uh, Ederman, en, excuse me, Endermen were not responding to the player in uh, survival uh, multiplayer, uh, so he's fixed that. Chickens and cows will now drop cooked food if they're set on fire, just like pigs. Squids now drop experience orbs. Um, 1.7 worlds. If you had a 1.7 world and you joined 1.8, you would automatically default to no structures. Uh, if you create a new world and go into more options, you can turn generate structures on and off. And if you had a 1.7 world, it defaults to off when you join 1.8. So he is changing that so it will now actually uh, default to on, which is really good. Uh, farmlands were rejecting melon and pumpkin seeds, so now you are actually able to um, use the seeds if it wasn't working for you before. Uh, bone mill will now work on melons and pumpkins, but he doesn't specify if he's talking about the stems in order to grow the the uh, the stems quicker, or if he's talking about once the stem is grown, you click on it with bone mill and it instantly drops a melon or pumpkin. So that's still unclear. Um, bone meal on mushrooms will only work if the mushroom is on dirt or grass. Um, this is due to a bug that was creating dirt blocks on, you know, changing stone or wood into dirt blocks when you use bone meal. So that's been fixed. Um, added item drops for the cracked and the mossy smooth stone bricks. So those bricks that you find in the strongholds, you can now actually gather those and, and reuse those on the world. And he's also adjusted the fog strength at low positions. Um, I also saw somewhere in a tweet he is fixing it so that um, orbs, uh, basically, they will now despawn after a certain amount of time, I believe. Um, the reason for that is because if there was a bunch of mobs dying near lava, that can create a lot of lag because the experience orbs would be underground somewhere and nobody would be picking them up. So hopefully that's been fixed as well. Um, now something uh, I did want to mention in this village and dungeons uh, being generated. Uh, something that he's changed, uh, but before that, uh, they've released, or they have a program called NBT Edit. So if you use that, you can actually go and change different things about your world. Um, you can change the game mode, you can change uh, whether or not structures and stuff are generated. Um, and so 
for now, if you're using your 1.7 and you are still using the 1.8 uh, pre-release, then you can actually use that so that your 1.7 world will start generating objects. But I've also uh, changed it. So this is my original test world. And I copied it into just another directory. And I went in using the NBT edit and changed the game mode from zero, which is survival mode, to one, which is creative mode. So this is my test world. Um, it's the giant sandstone world uh, that I've been uh, doing all my tests on, but it's in creative mode. So I have all of these infinite items. Again, right now I don't have water or lava. There's like all sorts of things missing, so I'm still using the too many items. But once this is fixed and I have all the items I need in here, I won't be needing too many items anymore. Um, although I may still use it because it still allows me to load presets like that. And so now I have infinite dust. Everything breaks instantly and I can replace it. So now my test world is considered uh, creative mode. So that was actually very useful to use the NBT edit and I'll try and link that in the description for you as well. Um, also some other news in regards to uh, how I'm going to uh, handle my world in the 1.8 series. Um, the options were going through the nether, creating a new world from start, uh, from fresh, uh, fresh brand new copy, or uh, using um, too many items in order to generate items into a brand new world. And so what I've decided is I'm actually going to do all three. Uh, in my kelp world, I'm going to go ahead and create, uh, go into the nether and go so far away that I am in new territory and go ahead and mess around that new territory. My main goal is to look for pumpkin and melon seeds because uh, as far as I know right now, the only way you can actually get the seeds is um, to actually find them in a chest in a dungeon, uh, either in a stronghold, a dungeon, or uh, mine shafts. So I have to go find those first. Once I find those, um, I can plant the pumpkins, but then melons, you know, when you break them, you get the slices and then the slices can give you seeds. So, uh, I have to find those first. And so I'm going to try and do that in my kelp world. If I'm unable to do that, I will create a new world, um, purely for the gourds, for the pumpkins and the melons. Um, I will copy over my resources. I will go look for pumpkin seeds there, see if I can't find anything in a new world. Again, I'm wanting to try and keep it as legit as possible, but without um, actually hacking in seeds. Uh, but other than that, none of the mechanics of Minecraft have changed, so my kelp world is still uh, usable. I can still build things around in my kelp world. Um, so even if I don't get melons in my efficiency let's play world I'll still have you know another world for the melons and then build everything else continue building in my kelp world uh, and then lastly once 1.9 is released which is going to be also the nether update I'm going to start completely from scratch uh, no copying resources no monster grinder no items no nothing no nether I'm going to start completely from scratch in a brand new world and that's probably going to be the world I'm going to keep because after that's going to be the official release, which I don't imagine is going to include um, too many changes to the game. So that's what I've uh, finally figured out what I'm going to do. And uh, hopefully all this will happen rather quickly. And I'm looking forward to the 1.8 update so I can go ahead and sign into my kelp world and get that started. Um, I may go ahead and actually just switch back to 1.7 and get things prepared for traveling in the nether um, before switching over to 1.8. Anyway, uh, so hopefully uh, that'll happen real soon. In the meantime, I will see you guys in my next video.